Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for sodium acetate plus hydrochloric acid. So to start out with, we need to balance the molecular equation. This here is the molecular equation, and it's already balanced. Also note, sometimes this Na, it'll be written in front, sodium acetate. Either way is okay. So we've balanced the molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So acetate, anything with the acetate ion here, very soluble. So sodium acetate, that's soluble. HCl is a strong acid, so that's soluble. And then acetic acid, it is soluble. It'll dissolve in water. And we'll talk more about that later. Sodium chloride, compounds with sodium, very soluble. So everything here is going to be aqueous. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This will give us the complete ionic equation. We're only going to split the strong electrolytes. That'll look like this. So we've split everything up into its ions, but for this acetic acid, this CH3COOH, it's a weak acid. So we do not split weak acids apart in net ionic equations. It'll ionize a little bit, but not very much. So we've left that together here. And I haven't written the states, but we'll write that later. Everything here is going to be aqueous. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants here, we have sodium and again, in the products. Cross that out. Then in the reactants we have the chloride ion and the products again chloride ion. We cross that out. That leaves the net ionic equation for sodium acetate plus hydrochloric acid. I'll clean it up, write the states, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium acetate plus hydrochloric acid. You note that charge is balanced. We have a negative and a positive here. Those balance out over here we have a neutral compound. So the charge is balanced. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. Remember that when we have the weak acid here, this acetic acid, because we have a weak acid, it'll still be soluble, but it won't dissociate into its ions. And for that reason, we keep it together here. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.